people are always doing these top-down shots of like everything they're taking on the trip type thing where everything's laid out beautifully and impressive yeah I don't have time for that but here's what I'm taking on my trip um, and I got to get all that in there so here we go she call you? Danielle. Does that happen all the time? Or Denise and Dona. Dania? Yeah, everything. Carpet art? Yeah, I was like, your carpet art is pretty. You told them that your yeah. carpet art was pretty? Yeah, I was like, ooh, your carpet art is pretty. And how did they respond to this? <laughs> you kind of laughed. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. This is the upgraded view. Was it worth it? Always. I have a 23 1.4 on today. And I'm gonna go first. Let's go. but I have the 15 millimeter Summelux with a 1.7 aperture. This thing is like a four or $500 lens. It's uh, probably not 
exactly in the same category as the 23 1.4 that Danae shot with, but, but I'm still excited to give it a shot. So here we go. There's only one thing, maybe two things in the world that could distract me from street photography. One of those two things is Guren Brothers. I think it's hilarious that you're taking photos with a dead cat on there. Comments, please comment and tell us what photos you like better. But also, if you had a favorite camera and lens, curious to hear that too. But we will have another video specifically comparing the GH5 to the X-T2 and maybe these lenses and some other lenses. Um, but if you're here because you want to kind of see the difference between these bodies and these lenses and compare the photos, it's not a direct comparison. So. You'll want to see our other videos for those. This is just a shootout between Danae and I, so. Hey.